going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. We have another phenomenal guest and you can see her right here to my left, your right. But uh, we will introduce her in a minute. But please, while we're going through the uh, show called The Prayer Lines, please don't go through things alone. And, and this program is going to be on some really great stuff that's going to help you. Identity, hurt, trauma. And so you do not want to change the channel. Call some other people. Share, share, share when you once you um, get what God has doing in your heart. I'll tell you, God's been doing phenomenal things mm -hmm. through these shows and helping people. Mm -hmm. And I hear it all the time, the calls. And so we're very grateful and humbled and honored. And so if you're someone who really needs a breakthrough and just needs somebody to pray for you, our prayer lines are there. And we don't need to know who you are. You are totally anonymous. And God just wants to see your brokenness be unbroken, okay? Because mm -hmm. he's a God that loves you. And you call 30. 637 pray that 7729 always here behind my head always periodically across across the bottom of the screen sometimes i gotta go so, so fast i can't I catch up with my words yes. yeah, I know, I've done that. Yes. so please join us around the table you may in Trin be in trinidad and tobago i mean i love it i've had calls from there we, we mm. air there you could be right on that ocean or in a hotel on your tablet and I'll tell you what, stay tuned. It was no accident you came across us, okay? Mm -hmm. God's got something for you supernatural mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. I'm Charlene Bactamir, your God's View host. Thank you again for joining us. Stephanie Besh, Priscilla Pruitt, uh, Destiny um, X, Destiny Yarbo. <laughs> she has Destiny X TV and um, phenomenal uh, TV show. And so you want to make sure you look that up. If you want her into your church, go to destinyx.tv and you can have her in to speak or have her on your TV show or whatever. We're grateful she's been sitting in for Lana while Lana is going through a battle. And until she gets back, uh, people are sitting in and we're very, very grateful for those who did because mm -hmm. Destiny came all the way in from Atlanta, mm -hmm. Georgia to Cheyenne, Wyoming. And so that's no hop, skip and a jump. <laughs> and then right next to me, won't Yay! you welcome Ty Taylor, Tyler, <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Besh. And Taylor is the daughter in love yes. of Stephanie yes. Besh and David Besh. So we are so glad. And, and many of you know David. He's he's hosted with us. Many times. And, uh, yeah, many times. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be back. He's going to uh, do some sit-ins for Lana also this year. So uh, we're very great. excited because we have them yeah. both on the set. We yeah. have we have Paul and Pop. Now we have kids and we're, we're getting the whole family. The whole family. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, you know, Tyler, while, while you were sitting Taylor. Why do I keep calling you Tyler? Because she has Spirit, a son named Tyler. Yes. Son Tyler <laughs> and my, oh, the Holy Spirit <laughs> corrected me immediately. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So Taylor, it's Taylor, right. Taylor, 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 like not Taylor, Taylor, no. like, like <laughs> Taylor or suit, but it's not yeah. spelled uh -huh. that way. I get it. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, you were sitting there and you, you've been helping us with cameras and stuff. And God is so faithful because he said, you know, he had some stuff to say through you about trauma, hurt, things that maybe you went through with identity crisis or, you know, anger, whatever. It comes along with all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. when we're going through things like that. But I know that God, what he does through situations like that, he turns all of our pain into purpose. Yeah. And, and, and we don't ever want all of that to go without, without, mm -hmm. um, you know, without purpose yeah. we don't we don't want to just mm -hmm. let all of that pain that we go through just for not right. You know? right right and so taylor tell us your story tell us your story yeah. <laughs> yeah. um well um i um i grew up going to a lutheran type church mm -hmm. um, my family was very faithful going to church every every sunday however mm -hmm. Um, when I was in sixth grade, we changed to a, um, to a Christian church, mm -hmm. um, and more non-denominational non church, um, still was faithful going every Sunday, mm -hmm. but I can honestly say, um, I was never taught about a relationship with Jesus. Wow. wow. Um, in church in yeah. Life. I mean, my, the pastors I had were great teachers, but, um, that was the one thing that lacked. Mm -hmm. And, um, 
so growing up, all of that, I mean, I even, I even got baptized when I was in ninth grade, but I can honestly say I didn't know, I didn't know what I was, why I was doing it or, you know, yeah. and so um, fast forward, you know, I graduate high school, I'm living life and I'm not necessarily living for Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, and um, again, just not living, I, I, I've known Jesus my whole life, mm -hmm. but I didn't know Jesus. You didn't have a relationship mm -hmm. wow. yeah. with him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and so... Um, that is powerful. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And so, um, I... It took hitting rock bottom for me. Mm -hmm. um, Most of us. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I was 20, um, I had just gotten out of a, a really bad, uh, bad relationship and was just at my, at my lowest, mm -hmm. at my lowest point. And uh, it took getting to that point for me to hit my knees and just cry out to God. Um, I remember leaving work one night and not wanting to go home by myself. And mm -hmm. I literally sat mm -hmm. my car and cried out and said, God, I can't do this anymore. Can't do this mm -hmm. by myself. Yeah. And I um, physically felt a weight lift. Yay, God. Off of, yeah, my, off of my shoulders. Yeah. Um, and so it was in that moment, again, I didn't, n I mean, I was, I was different because I had reached out to the Lord, but um, didn't really know what to do with that. Yeah. And um, what's, you know, what's just amazing about God is um, I met my husband that night. Oh! That very <laughs> night. I met my husband like two hours later. Um, and um, we had the same group of friends without ever meeting each other. Isn't until God we were 20 amazing. years old Isn't yeah um, plan. yeah and so moving forward from there um, we started going to church together and pursuing the Lord together praying together even before we were engaged um, and I I met Jesus oh, yeah. so I, I got to experience the Holy Spirit and um, just so special to grow in that relationship but also mm -hmm. just be able to walk through it like my husband walked through it with me yeah. stephanie her fa like the whole so family were you through ever with angry because of all the years that you didn't like really um yeah i felt a little um i felt shorted yeah yeah that's like, what i'm thinking yeah like, yeah i felt well, shorted and mm -hmm. part of my story that i didn't share was i actually grew up in, in a dysfunctional home mm -hmm. and um because of that there was a lot of trauma that i experienced yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um a lot of generational anger mm -hmm. um, and I can say now that Jesus has worked on my family mm -hmm. and the, the biggest thing was with my father we we fought all the time oh. that's that's how he communicated yeah, um, yeah. and um, and we learn to communicate yeah. that way we take yeah. that into exactly our marriage. and yeah. that was right. totally it I was so filled with um, with anger mm -hmm. I was yeah. angry mm -hmm. I you know and so it took Again, it took hitting that, but honestly, it took um, walking through it and, and learning learning who Jesus was. Yeah. Um, and that he loves you no matter yes. how angry, how yeah. ugly, yes. how whatever he loves us. Yeah. And then we get better. We get yep. better. Yep. And I bet you your husband had the love of Jesus and helped. Oh, he did. And it's I can honestly say um, that I pursued healing mm -hmm. because of because of my husband mm -hmm. he pushed me to want to get better yeah i wanted to get better for myself but really i wanted to get better for him uh -huh. yeah because i and he didn't push you in the push way just right. because of his walk yes, right exactly. that's what i'm getting yeah. like he the just, walk. Yeah. exactly yeah. he's yeah. he is so <laughs> you know god i think that whole opposites attract thing really i mean for us he's so even keel all the time uh -huh. <laughs> and i'm not <laughs> yeah me and my husband i'm better now I mean, let's yeah. think about this for a minute <laughs> think about it let's yeah. yeah, let's yeah. do yeah. it. No. Yeah, so he just yeah, can, he totally he did. Yes, and he encouraged me with his actions too. Without really, yeah. I think, without even realizing that he was doing that, uh -huh. he's so he just is always so peaceful and just um, just so calm. I wanted that. Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up in that. I grew up yeah. in chaos, and yeah. there was. I mean, it just was chaotic and dysfunctional and. Um, Every woman needs a man like yes. that. It's true. It's and I, true. I will say, um, my dad came to know Jesus mm -hmm. when I was a senior in high school and is a different man because oh, of that. Yay. But um, 
But I always, I always tell people that the dad that I grew up with is different than the dad that my younger brother and sister grew up with. Oh, yeah. um, because, because, you know, I, yeah. I took the brunt of a lot of it. Yeah. And then they got, they got the, the, the Jesus dad. And that could bring, <laughs> some, that could bring yeah. some anger, too. It did. And it yeah. was just, you know, I brought Unfair. a lot of... Yeah. 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 And so, um, yeah, I, I really pursued healing in 2018. I had the opportunity to go through what was called what we what they called a step study, and it's essentially it was a sozo, it was a spirit-led um, twelve-step program, and mm -hmm. I I walked through um, all twelve steps and um, learned some things about myself that weren't yeah. weren't great, but I, mm -hmm. I needed to we need to yeah, we need to, slam I need to address to yeah. One yeah. thing I have to say too is I remember. You know, everybody comes out of some kind of brokenness. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can All have the best us. family, and there's still dysfunction. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're living in a family that doesn't know, and it is chaos, yeah. and it is, you know, all those things, and you come out broken, one thing I have to say is you have a choice. And mm -hmm. we've talked about that. And I remember you coming to me and say, I, I need help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to change. Aww. And you found out about that. Yeah. And you're like, what do you think? And I'm like, go for it. And it was biblically based. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it was Holy Spirit led and watching you change and even coming to me and saying, wow, look what I just discovered. And I've got to make, I don't know what to do, yeah. you know, and God mm -hmm. actually moved you and Zach in he with did. us. He did. So mm -hmm. we were there yeah. as you walked through so much mm -hmm. of that. And, you know, I have to say, that uh, I have to commend you for making that choice oh, because yes. not everybody does. does. Yeah. And, and, I, and I feel like right now, you know, so many times in-laws will just clash and we're all raised different, every single one of us. And it doesn't matter if we grew up in church or not. Mm -hmm. We can think we're the same, but once we get married and lives come together, we're not. Mm -hmm. exactly. But I will, I will tell you this, forgive yeah. and let go and embrace who your new family is and let them be who you who they are and you be who you are but grow together in the lord and when you do that lives will change Amen. and i i know that when i met you i knew the lord told me this is going to be zach's husband wife. and wife wife, wife. wife. sorry <laughs> and i <Little> <laughs> <wife>. <laughs> my, my son my son's husband <laughs> my, my son's wife and I remember hearing that, and we don't, we oh, didn't know each no. other, yeah. but the Holy Spirit knew, and yeah. He knew what God would do through both of our families. Yeah. You know, so I want to encourage you today that if yes. you have a broken relationship with your daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. your son-in-law, your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, whatever that looks like, sister and brother-in-law, take time today to repent yeah. and fix your own heart and let God heal and make <clears throat> it right, mm -hmm. and then encourage them to be who they are. Yes. You know, I, I, I couldn't do anything. You couldn't do anything, but God could. Yes. yes. You know, and that was our hope. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's beautiful yeah. about inner healing, because that's really what mm -hmm. you went through, inner Very healing. Much. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've got to get to the root, because everything's rooted, right? You've got mm -hmm. the good fruit, the bad yeah, fruit. Yeah, the bad yes. tree mm -hmm. can't bear good fruit. The good tree mm -hmm. can't bear bad fruit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. True. But, yeah. Exactly. But mm -hmm. you know what? I love the scripture. Let the redeemed of the Lord yeah. say so. Yes. yes. You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you That's get right. that you're in the say so part now. That's yeah, right. you get to yeah. say yeah. so because yeah. yeah. you get redeemed, and mm -hmm. God just yeah. you know there's there's a lot of baggage, and I don't think a lot of people don't understand the depth of coming from a chaotic family like mm -hmm. you did. I understand it clearly. Trust me, mm -hmm. I came from a crazy chaotic family. But the thing is, you know, I used to have a girlfriend, and it's hard because what you were going through, you don't have a lot of people to help you because I had people with me mm -hmm. say. That really? That mm -hmm. just can't be because she mm. grew up in Leave It to Beaver House or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, mm -hmm. one of those yeah. perfect houses. And she right. just could not mm -hmm. believe half of the stuff. Yeah. And I mean, every bit of it's true. But yeah. some people, that's how they react. They act like you, you, you mm -hmm. they repel mm -hmm. you. They repel mm -hmm. you because then you're some kind of, mm -hmm. and, and what you needed was them to embrace you. You needed, you know, people yeah. that really walked in the love of the Father. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's hard because when you first come out of something like you and mm -hmm. you really admit it, and then you have the church people that are the worst, yeah. mm -hmm. they were the meanest to me. 
I mean, mm-hmm. seriously, I mean, mm-hmm. I always say my prostitute friends were way nicer than anybody in the that's church. Crazy. <laughs> and, that's and, crazy. And my sh- wow. everybody it's on the true, streets. Though. And because it is, it, there is, there is so such true. a truth yeah, to it. So and I'm praying that really changes. But yeah. a lot of people in the church, when you hear people like Taylor's story, what happens is, you know, I, somehow, I don't know if you're scared, you can't, you know, minister to it or handle it or whatever, or you run the other way. But the thing is, is the biggest deal is you put your head in the sand and you want to ignore it. Mm-hmm. And you hurt them people. You say you want to help them people. You preach, go hurt, you know, get the lost, the hurting, the dying, and that you're a place of healing and, and that go help the street, the homeless. But as soon as it comes and hits you in the face, you retreat. Mm-hmm. And a lot mm-hmm. of the church is, is like that. Now, mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of good churches. I'm not putting down. We are the church. Yeah. We're just a building. Mm-hmm. We all gather together. Right. Yeah. But, you know, uh, and I, I understand that I know that revelation I am the church Mm -hmm. (laughs) this is the building (laughs) but it's just sometimes God has us say these things because I've had pastors call many times and they may need to hear this whoever was just listening right now because you may need to repent and change your ways Mm -hmm. and say you know I have been kind of what they're talking about Mm -hmm. you know and and this may be your moment and your hour and and that you just help those that are really hurting like Mm -hmm. Taylor or like what I came out of and and just really embrace Mm -hmm. them you know so I have to ask you yeah Mm -hmm. so I kind of had a similar situation where I hit rock bottom and I was mad at God and I blamed him for my divorce and then I met my husband immediately after so I knew the second I met him, though, I was like, oh, God, I don't know what your plan is for my life. Like, please let him be the one. Did you have that moment where you're like, I know this is him? Actually, yes. Um, That's awesome. What's An hour later. No, no, seriously. (laughs) You know, um, the the thing that led me there is um, the man that I was with, I actually thought I would marry. Um, And then, you know, one thing led to another and uh, found out that um, he had been unfaithful. Mm -hmm. And that was part of the brokenness that I carried as well. Was he mean? Same here. Not necessarily, no. no. Okay. No. Well, that's good. Um, Thank God. But yeah, Mm -hmm. so he just, uh, you know, and so that's kind of what led me to that moment in my car. And so that was also what led, what was the craziest was, you know, um, I was walking up to the bonfire that I met my husband at. And I was on the phone with my friend, and I literally stopped, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, <laughs> like you know when um, when you like go to pray for somebody and God just like highlights somebody, and that's mm-hmm. like that's all you could see. That's what happened, yeah. uh-huh. and all I could see was Zach. And um, then yeah. again, come to find out, like we have when I say the ex- like the exact same friends, I've known his best friend since I was six years old and Zach and I never met. Mm -hmm. Um, And so it was just perfect, like God's perfect timing Mm -hmm. for us to meet. Um, I needed to be ready, so did he. And so um, five months after meeting, we were engaged. I mean, it was was very quick, Mm -hmm. but yes, I knew, I knew right away and so did he. And what's, what's, you know, God's perfect timing is he wasn't we we've talked about this is he wasn't ready for a relationship either like he wasn't looking for a relationship i definitely wasn't and we healed each other Mm -hmm. um there were things that he carried from from a past relationship that you know hurts and stuff like that Mm -hmm. we healed each other we let god in we prayed together every day um we made that a point because we we had watched dave and stephanie pray together and we we knew about a weekend that we would get married um and so we just kind of made that choice right then and there like we're gonna we're gonna start this off um on a strong foot and just so we made a point of praying together every single day now can you see the difference though in the relationship that you thought you were gonna marry oh and now like when you first met yeah your husband like the difference in the two and the reassurance and that your spirit Mm -hmm. like even has that peace Mm -hmm. because a lot of people Mm -hmm. i mean i've married you know married my first husband and i thought Looking back, I'm like, dude, how could you even think he was uh-huh. the one for mm-hmm. you? Yeah. But when I met my husband yeah. and yeah. he had gone through the same thing and he opened the door and I remember we went to his house to go talk about his mom and my mom and each other and they kind of like setting us up and we were just going to talk about how we both kind of went through similar situations, but both of us had prayed the same prayer. Like, God, please let this be the one. The second he opened the door, I was like, I turned to my sister, I go, I'm going to marry him. I just knew. Uh, yeah. I yeah. knew. Yeah. And so did Not you see the difference one. in the um, yeah. 
you know, the counterfeit mm -hmm. yeah. and the real, the real that God yeah. has for you. Yes, I did. And honestly, the biggest part of that was Jesus. Yes. Jesus mm -hmm. was in the one relationship and he wasn't in the other one. Amen. Right. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Equally yoked. You have to yeah. be equally yeah. yoked. Yes. That's so good you saw that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I always say when I'm hearing all these conversations, God is such a net weaver. You know, yes. he just net weaves yes. everything so perfectly. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. I love how yeah. he works that yeah. way. And it's all relationship. Like you said, yeah. your, your, you know, your husband uh, had a relationship with Jesus. The boyfriend didn't. And so it just, you know, and then you cried mm -hmm. out. Then it makes it worse because what fellowship does darkness have with light? Yeah. It's always just, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I can walk into a room and I, people love me or hate me, you know, because of demons, right. you know. Exactly. It's, yeah. it, it's just that sort of a thing, you know. Yeah. You know what else <coughs> I love, though, is that you guys healed each other. A lot of people think That's that cool. they have to be perfect before they can go on and find their spouses. Mm -hmm. And they think that they have to have everything ready. I have to be financially stable. I have to be this. Mm -hmm. There's like a list, but you said no you yeah. followed love and god's peace and yeah. promptings of the holy mm -hmm. spirit and you healed together mm -hmm. and i love that yeah and plus too when you go into it if you felt unworthy or ugly or mm -hmm. you know that's even makes it worse mm -hmm. because you feel like lesser than and you're always trying to look great and do great and, and, yeah. and nothing can do that but like you said jesus yeah well and with that too so part of my past was um through the chaos, you know, I was, I was expected to be, and it was never verbalized, but it was an expectation. Mm -hmm. um, when you're out in public, you zip it up and everything needed to look perfect. Uh. And so um, yeah. I remember, because um, my dad and I, we, I mean, like, we, f we fought. Mm -hmm. We fought. And I remember mm -hmm. we'd, we'd be screaming at each other all mm -hmm. the way to um, a meeting. We'd get there, and I knew I could have been, you know, sobbing. And I just knew in that moment, like, okay, as soon as I step foot out of this car, I, I nothing can, yep, it's, it's going to be mm -hmm. perfect, and mm -hmm. it has to look like everything is fine. And that's um, just like sexual abuse. It's yeah. you, have to you know, make it, it look is. good. Mm -hmm. And and I, I love my father, and we've had forget, we've had, there's been forgiveness and there's been healing. Mm -hmm. um, oh that's awesome. Yes. And so, but with that too, like there's still those, there's still those hurts. There's still oh, those yeah, traumas. And I, um, as you were uh, earlier when you were talking about sticking your head in the sand, um, I had also during that chaotic time experienced some physical abuse. And um, the one time I tried to tell somebody what was happening. <sighs> They called me a liar. Yep. Mm -hmm. wow. uh -huh. They oh. said that I was make that I was making yeah. things up and lying. Yeah. And so I'm from so that sorry. moment on, I didn't tell anybody. Yeah, and sad to say that's not yeah. rare. Yeah. yeah. You know. so and so sorry. among yeah. the the anger and the trauma, you know, I had to I had to reconcile that. Mm -hmm. I had to reconcile yes. that too. Yes. Uh -huh. And so, um, you know, we all we all come from everything, but like you know, the choice of of I wanted to be healthy. Mm -hmm. yes Amen. we all do we I wanted to be yeah. healthy I wanted to be healthy for my husband yes. but I wanted to be healthy for myself Amen. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. and so um, that was a big reason of, of going through um, that step study was yes. was um, my husband deserved better but so did I mm -hmm. yes and um, God's just yeah. so faithful and look yeah. what God's done you guys yeah. are such an amazing couple yeah. a powerhouse for yeah. God yeah. 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 serving the Lord Mm -hmm. serving in the church yeah. mm -hmm. amazing and god put you <laughs> yeah. in this great family yeah. you know yeah. well, and i'm telling so you that's great cool. now okay you have like i mean a minute and a half he's gotta <laughs> yeah. go but could you pray for people yes. that has been that. like you that's gone yes. through so heavenly father i just thank you thank you lord for anybody that's listening that's gone through any any sort of trauma um come out of dysfunction physical abuse emotional abuse anything like that lord i ask that you touch their heart right now yes Jesus, wrap your arms around them. Just give them your yes, peace that passes all yes, understanding, God. Lord. Yes. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that they get a supernatural strength, mm -hmm. Lord. Yes, God. Supernatural strength to either stand up and tell someone what's happening, yes. or, mm -hmm. yeah. um, or Lord, and then send somebody, send somebody into their life to help them, Jesus. Yes. Don't let them, don't let them walk this by themselves, God. Mm -hmm. um, I just thank you, Jesus, for. For everything you're doing, I thank you for the healing and the, the deliverance mm -hmm. that's going to come from yes. this, Lord. Um, we just trust you and we praise you, Lord.
Ooh, Jesus. Glory. Thank you. I hope that you. really helped you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. You know, it, <clears throat> it's so wonderful when when God uses somebody and mm -hmm. he he knew who he knows who he wants in and out yes. and who's going to be listening mm -hmm. and who how many people that's going to help yes. and and we just really thank you Taylor for coming on and being uh, vulnerable and mm -hmm. honest yeah. because you know, people don't get it. Our, we're here as testimonies. We're a walking testimony mm -hmm. everywhere we go. And we're on assignment everywhere we go. That's and right. so God just had Taylor here today on assignment, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. for heaven. Because there's going to be people that tune in and they're going to so relate with her story. And you're going to say, boy, I can get there. I, I can mm -hmm. be happy. I can have a good mm -hmm. husband. We can serve Jesus together. Because that's a... That, that's the first and foremost. If you don't have that, mm -hmm. then, you know, really, you got to throw it all in mm -hmm. until yeah. then. Or reach out to God and say, God, save him, save me, do whatever mm -hmm. you got to do. And listen, and that's the biggest thing. Um, we're all accountable on this earth to be a walking testimony and to show the love of the Father. Because he said this. Everyone would know that we're his disciples by what? Mm. Our love for one another. Mm -hmm. Not how much we preach the gospel. Not how much we do this or that but our love for one another. And Jesus looked at people with love. They said, mm -hmm. he looked at me with mm -hmm. love. There's mm -hmm. a look of love. That's There's good. a look of love and heaven is looking at you with love right now. He's shining down on you and he wants you more than you want to surrender yes. your life. And all you got to do is call on mm -hmm. his name. Everyone who calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved. You may not be able to even say the words out of your mouth, but God knows what you say mm -hmm. before you say it. And he knows that you are reaching out and you want him right now. These Redento Raffinettos are garbage, bunch of pieces out of a garbage. And my friend Chris mm -hmm. McGahan, that is a famous glass blower, he makes them into Redento mm -hmm. Raffinettos. One was at the inauguration for 10 grand and many other for mm -hmm. a lot of money. But the key is that he made the broken into beautiful. That's and right. that's what he wants to do for you today. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what you did, please. The devil's always lying to you and saying, oh, God don't want you. Look mm -hmm. what you've done. And you can't make that right. You don't need to make it right. Just come to him and you mm -hmm. guys can mm -hmm. take this journey together. You know, I always say, I love catching the fish, but I let my husband clean them up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, eh. I even yep. say, put the worm on the thing, you know. Uh -huh. But God wants to just do it for you. He loves you. And, and if you said, come into my life, forgive me of my sin, Lord Jesus, I need you. I'm broken. I can't do this anymore. And I want what these ladies have. Well, what we have is Jesus. Yes. That's all we can give you. And that's a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's all you'll ever need. And all heaven is rejoicing for everybody mm -hmm. who did that. If one sinner comes to the Lord, and they're going to have a big birthday party every year now, mm -hmm. just for you, your favorite colors, your everything up there, and the, mm -hmm. the loved ones that went before you, you can count on it. We're so glad. If you came into the family of God today, please call our prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. Tell somebody, okay? Please go to our website today. Helps us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you just get a product it all goes mm. back in to the ministry and we do need your help today you know people think oh i can't give millions i can't give thousands but you can give five dollars a month mm -hmm. and everybody's five dollar adds up mm -hmm. and i got some prophetic art there for supernatural prices and and there's glory and there's fire on those um paintings so get one today mm -hmm. all right remember this we love you but jesus loves you more god does have a view god does have a view personally for you it's only goodbye for today mm -hmm. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ.